Howdy folks, uh, being involved in uh, self-isolation is, uh, if you're a, a biochar or gardening enthusiast, it's not nearly as bad as some people have it. I'm grateful. I thought I'd show uh, you some tips with the uh, biochar uh, experiment I did. Um, I, I did three uh, types. Uh, this was, uh, there's six rows here, three trials. So I've got a row of, uh, this first row here is uh, the biochar at the bottom of the pit with some uh, the baked soil and garden soil mix. Probably, you know, I'm guessing about half and half. Then the next one is uh, next two are different biochar batches, basically pure biochar. And you can see germination did not do that well. Um, I've got one plant that actually, uh, one corn plant that grew. Uh, there's a few things sprouting. I've got a radish down here, um, another radish over here, but everything else has stayed. Uh, this, the ones that did well, uh, the mixture, uh, it was an accident, but I spilled some um, uh, flax seed uh, into it and just used it anyway. And so I've got all this flax that's coming up with it. And um, I like it. Uh, it's a nice companion plant, and in fact, uh, in all of these the trials, I put uh, a mixture of five different seeds. Uh, there were uh, radish, uh, different types of beans. Uh, there's a few of the beans came up. Uh, there's one. It's I, I did the. Uh, Two of these and the other one has some beans coming up um, some of the beans were several years old uh, i don't think they were viable but uh, some of them were newer and work um, but there's a uh, radish uh, a couple types of flowers actually let's see i'll pull that other one it's got flowers in it This one you can see here, they're, they're germinating here, even in this uh, just pure char, basically. And then uh, this one has a few more radishes. Here's a bean, a bean plant. Right here, big leaf. So one of the beans came up. That was a cranberry bean, I believe, um, and, and there's more of those flowers in, in here in this other section. These are our yellow flowers, starts with a C, I'm going to have to look up the name, I'll, I'll put it in the text uh, um, down below, but uh, just wanted to, to let you know, I, uh, I really enjoy experimenting, and if I can get five or six different experiments in one experiment. I like it better. It's just more fun. I don't know how scientifically valid it is, but it gives me an idea. And, and I like the idea of using flax in combination with things like uh, corn and squash. Big seeded uh, plants that will get up ahead um, the flax itself is fairly uh, uh, tall. They don't cast a big shadow. Uh, I've got some growing in my garden here. Uh, that I put out and it's, uh, last fall. The early spring. And 
So these are starting to put out um, buds now. Uh, so these little uh, tips are going to uh, produce little blue flowers. They're, they're really, for as little a flower as they are, they're really pretty. And, and you can see the tall and skinny. And so it might uh, present some shade uh, lower down on the plants at the corn and the squash. And since those are uh, transplants that I'm planting, it'll only be where I plant the squash. The squash is going to run away from it, so it'll be grabbing up its sunlight some more other way, uh, place. But you've got your companion plants uh, to develop their plantish uh, relationships. And uh, I'm playing with it. I don't know how great an idea it is, but it's a lot of fun for me. And uh, just wanted to pass it on. Have a good one. Stay safe.